So as you guys can see here, this is a hexagram invoking and banishing Saturn into the middle. Um, a lot of times people assume the sun goes in there, but that's specifically from a ritual, but that's not the point. The point of why I'm making this video is I wanted to clear to show you something because for the last several decades, I keep telling people, we, the so majority of times, um, people that are followers of some form of Hindu um, culture or Armenian, usually according to what most people are aware of, yes, the sun would go in there. But as you know, a lot of occult practitioners and people of Jewish mysticism, they invoke Saturn as the Jewish. When you see the Orthodox Jewish men with the black hats, the black hat is symbolic of the the planet Saturn and the ring of Saturn. So as Armenians, we have the alphabet A. I'm doing it with my finger. I have a tattoo. You can't see it right now. On my finger, it is the letter A in Armenian. The letter A is symbolic of God in the Armenian language. And you also see on in the church, the Armenian Orthodoxy Apostolic Church, there's the eh. It's just to have a client call. You are reconnected. See, and then what you can see here is it's the moon here, invoking the moon. There's Mercury, Jupiter. This is the Golden Dawn book. Mars, Venus, so on and so forth. So, in a fashion, when I talk about the hex witchery, or it's my another, it's my client again. When I talk about the hex witchery, five minutes. Okay, I'll be back. Wow, this brings me back to old times. Lots of memories, trees. So, for those of you learning this new, it can be fun. But I have a lot of sentimental memories to this. Oh my goodness, back from like two decades ago. <laughs> Remember, this is the Golden Dawn book. 777. That's me. Everybody is born with a numerology, a vibration in their name or their birthday. My name, Talad Lori Hancherian, equals to 777. The hexagram of fire and the hexagram of the earth. All right, I'm just going to close this video here at that because I'm getting really sleepy. I've had some April to drink and I'm going to shut down my working system and I'm going to pass out and sleep. Even though it's before New Year's Eve, I'm tired. Yeah, so I've been saying for many years that the E alphabet, the Armenian alphabet, the letter E is very old in a sense that it's actually symbolic of Saturn. The, it's the sigil, the glyph of Saturn. Maestro Mashtots always said that the Armenian alphabet was a symbol of God, was divinely given to him through God. Eh. Okay, so one more thing because I was going to go to sleep and then I kept getting more phone calls. So one more thing, which is anybody that ever tells you that Armenian women are or should be or that it's considered to be in the Armenian culture, that Armenian women are submissive, tell them to go fuck themselves. It is in our historical books that Armenian women have always been strong have always had their own opinions, have always carried the pain and all the burdens of the world on their shoulders and were still sharing their voice and their strength and keeping the house, family, and everything else alive. So if a man, whether he's Armenian or not, tells you to be silent and that it's part of the Armenian culture to be... Um, and then he plays it off that it's the Christian way or that in the Christian books. No, 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 no. You do not have the favor of a God 
if you disrespect your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, your daughter, or any woman, even if she is a paid prostitute. You just do not do that. Okay? Women have been chosen to be the, the, the bearers of your children. So if you treat her like shit, that means you're allowing your own children to endure so much trauma and so much pain of which we keep repeated, repeatedly having to go through genocides till this day. And that is why a lot of the women that you want, and this is directly to Armenian men, your own women are leaving this country and, and going to Istanbul and having sex with... What does that say about you as, as a community, as a group of men? There is such a thing as a collective karma. There is such a thing as an ancestral karma. Don't make fun of something or a group of other nationalities if you yourself is, are that way. It's even worse on your end because you cover it up with being Christian. If we go back through historical times, fanatical, the Crusades, Christians, they were just as bad as all these fanatical Islamic, you know, they were like ISIS basically. So read, learn to read. It's in our history. It's in our historical books that Armenian women have always been strong. And if you're an Armenian woman, please don't allow. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Year to all of you. I want to wish you a very happy, joyous, successful and abundant year and many, many years to come of health, emotional well-being, and everything else in between, okay? So, silver candle. Money sugar queen candle. Purple candles coming up. And some coffee for me because I need to wake up and I've... Yeah. So I woke up hours ago, but I had a long line of clients waiting to talk to me on the phone. So guys, I mean, there's a lot more we can talk about. There's so many things we can talk about. But I'm sure you want a little bit of a break. I literally fell asleep before the fireworks started last night. And I woke up and it sounded like there was a fucking war going on. Because in every corner, there's like... It, it's like sounding like bombs and shit, you know? So I'm like, I'm just sleeping through this and it felt great. So I'm going to have my coffee now. Um, let me know how your New Year's Eve went. Because mine was... Listen, I spent over $100 on a bottle of Starlino orange. And 40 bucks on salmon. And that's only a minimum. I went shopping again, so you see? I bought some more April and I'm using the Starlino cup. <laughs> but I have my coffee because I'm about to enjoy this really tasty Belgian fucking caramel salt um, chocolate. Mm, yum yum. Oh, this is so delicious. So yummy. And it's like, if you happen to see this, please try it. It's delicious. Gourmet chocolates from Hamlet. Made in Belgium. Because chocolate's not found in Armenia. At least not organically. You know? So. Do you guys think that my tattoo is a little bit in out of alignment or what? Kishimavadi chetsanank che. Like that, we should have. Anyways. That's it, I'm done. No more videos. Oh my gosh, before I go, I'm going to try to make you guys laugh. These are for the Armenian speakers, okay? So I remembered something because I brought it up yesterday where I was saying, right? The different dialects. So I remember back in 2020, I was invited to go to this. Um, with a group like it's an organization 
to go to a village in, called Pumbuk in um, Lodi province. Okay. So we stayed there for a few days and I went with a, a Gumri group. So like we went with like a van, a white marshutka to go. And the entire time there's these athlete guys younger than me. Oh my God. In my ear. Constantly asking me, where are you from? Where are you from? Oh my God, we don't know you. How come you're here? This is so cool. We already had this. How come your name wasn't listed? Where'd you come from? This, You're so cool. Let's get to know each other. Want to hang out? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I don't even remember his name, but two of his ears were like bashed in because they're like um, athletes. When I say athletes, I mean like wrestlers. That's the word. So his ears were bashed in and he goes to me, how come you dice born Armenians? And I didn't even bring up the word. And the funny thing is the driver's listening so intently because we're sitting in the front. He goes, how come you dice borns? Say yachbair. He goes, it's achbir. And then he's like, why? Can you answer the question? Why do you say yachbair? And I said, how do you know that we say yachbair? How do you, how do you even know that? Yachbair means brother, okay? And he's like, well, because there's this diasporan movie and it's called Yechbar. He goes, it's not Yechbar, it's Achbar, it's Achbar. He goes, can you answer the question to me? <laughs> so they're all attentively, like from the back, all the girls, everyone is like listening and the driver's like listening. I can see him through the little, little mirror, you know, looking at me like, what is she going to say? What is she, why do they say Yechbar? And I'm like, I go to him, I'm like, all like serious but i'm joking because i want to see what he's gonna say next i go to him i'm like and they all just go silent he goes no no it's not the same in armenian it means trash the trash can so in the eastern dialect ye brother they say and Western Armenians, we say Yechbair. So it sounds like you're, and I basically try to, I said to him so that we say Yechbair so that we don't take. And he's like, no, no, it's wrong. Yechbair is wrong. And I'm like, oh, so you, you think it's correct to throw your brother in the trash? And he's like, no, no, the word is Achbit. It's not the same word. I go, listen, sweetheart, we all have different dialects. It doesn't mean it's wrong. You know, it's like Hampere. You know, there's different dialects out there. Chill the fuck out. Enjoy your moment. Learn. There's no such thing as one dialect. Like every culture and nationality in the world, there's different dialects. Embrace. Embrace. Its uniqueness is good. Difference is good. We don't all want to look alike, act alike. It's boring. So anyways, when I was working at Gumi Technology Center, before that contract that Birthright Armenia screwed up um, because I was at Birthright um, Gumri Technology Center for almost a year, okay? So doing like psychology tests and speaking in English and you know, majority of my students were Gumri Technology staff. It's majority. So there was one what girl in particular, she was like a digital illustrator um, and she used to always tell me, if you're going to stay and live here permanently, Talad, please do not change your Western Armenian dialect or adapt to our dialect. And I used to say, it's, it's interesting you, you, you say that. She goes, because here's the thing. Old Armenians, like the original Armenians, they used to put a very huge pedestal on Western Armenian. It meant you're very worthy. You're very valuable. So she was saying, if you change it to our dialect, your value is going to drop. 